Hello friends, in this presentation we'll solve one more gate via this question and the topic involved in this question is strings and pointers. So this is a simple function called foo and I'm passing a character pointer that is a string a. So you can declare a strings with the help of pointers. So now a represents a string. So here we are assuming we are passing string value for a that is a string value I'm passing as a b c d a b c d space e f g h this is a string that has that i'm passing to this uh, character pointer a okay now i'm having a if condition here that is star a logical and star a not equal to blank space that means here logical and means it will return true only if both the conditions first condition and second condition will ret uh, returns true then only the final value of this if condition will be true so star a so what uh, what does this star a means so if uh, if star a returns null value that means null value will have ascii value 0 that means 0 is nothing but false so star a here it is checking for null value okay if it is a null value then it should return false otherwise or if uh, if it encounters any blank space if this uh, string encounters any blank space any of the character in this particular string encounters blank space then also you must return card return false and come out of this uh, if block okay so the first as you know the array name represents the first address for, for, for address of the first element of the string so assume uh, um, uh, each character byte is separated by 1000, 1000, 2000 and, up, uh, and, and ends with a null character. This is the uh, string that we are assuming. So A contains a base address. Okay. So star A is nothing but star of 1000. So what we have 1000 at location 1000, A is been stored. Okay. So A and star A not equal to blank space. So capital A is not equal to null value and also not equal to blank space so this returns true and control goes to the next uh, if block so foo of a plus one so this is a recursive call so again we are printing we are calling this function but so because of this recursive call we are unable to execute the statement below that recursive call for uh, for example so first call so what is the first call here assume the first call so we have called foo of the first call okay that uh, we have passed this is second one right foo of a plus 1 what is a plus 1 a is 1000 so a plus 1 is nothing but 1000 plus 1 so now control goes to here so but if there is no recursive call this uh, this should print a care will display the character so it should print a okay but it will not execute but uh, a will not be printed on the output screen because of this recursive call and uh, now control goes to this uh, function definition now star a will point to the 1001 a plus 1 it is nothing but 1001 now th what will happen first 1000 has now f of foo of 1001 will be passed so initially it is 1000 foo of 1000 okay right now a will point to the second value of the string now again say check the condition star a is nothing but uh, star of 1001 which is b b and and star a that is b not equal to blank space so it will return true and now what will happen who of a plus 1 that is nothing but f of 1000 plus 2 1000 plus uh, 1001 plus 1 that is 1002 why why because right now a is 1001 so 1001 plus 1 is 1000 so because of that recursive call it could not able to sprint this statement that is it uh, it will not display b so this statement has been skipped right now again it will check the uh, now a will point to 1002 okay and if of star a and star a not equal to blank space yes c and star a not equal to blank space it will return true and now f of it will point to 1003 f of a plus 1 now if you see uh, because of the recursive call it will not print the c value so if there, if there is no recursive call it should print c value that is 1002 c value should be printed now again check f of 1003 d has been stored in f of 1003 d and not equal d is not equal to blank space so both the conditions are satisfied it will return true now f of a plus 1 that is f of 1003 plus 1 f of sorry foo of uh, 1004 now okay what is foo of 1004 again control goes to that so before that we have uh, one statement below that so that should print d so because of recursive statement control the, uh, this function will be called again so f of 1004 now a value is pointing to the location 1004 
So what is present in that 1004? So 1004 points to a blank space. Okay, so star a is not a null value. It is not a null value, but it is equal to a blank space. So star a is now pointing to a blank space. So this condition is false. So the entire if condition will return false because it is an AND condition. Okay, as it return false, what will happen now? Control will come out of that function. But before that, this is a recursive call. So what will happen if any statement is there after that recursive call? Uh, then that statement uh, will be printed after the end of that recursive call. That means first out 1004 output will be printed, 1003, uh, it will be backtraced to 1004, uh, next 1003, next 1002, next 1001 and 1000. That means output will be displayed as D, C, B, A. That means in which direction it is coming. So it will be backtracked in the same direction. It will be backtracked to the same direction. That means if there is any statement. So most of the recursive questions asked in gate or uh, this type only. That means they will give a they, they will give a statement before after a recursive call. So because of this recursive call, they will not be executed right now. But after the end of that recursive call, after the end of the function execution, all the statements will be printed from reverse. Okay, so that you should not forget. This is only logic that has been asking in gate. Okay, so DCBA is the output here. So the correct answer for this question is option D, DCBA. Okay, friends, this is it for now. And thank you for watching this presentation. See you in the next session. Bye bye.